Hey guys, so this is going to be a training on how to do the phone setup, um, how to optimize it, and also how to understand uh, how the numbers work within Smarter Contact. So uh, we recently uh, provided an update where we basically are going to list all of your phone numbers by status. So here it's going to show your actives, and then as you scroll down uh, to the next screen, you'll see the blocked numbers. So you'll be able to scroll down and see the actives at the top. And then once you scroll down, you'll see the blocks. Um, so a lot of you guys ask, what's the point of having a blocked number, right? What's the point of carrying a blocked number? Um, the point is because, let's say, for example, you, you did a text blast with a phone number um, and you sent it to maybe hundreds or thousands and a lot of contacts and you've had previous conversations with them. Um, if you remove a blocked number, you no longer are going to get the correspondence from that that seller or that hot lead, right? So th there's still value in having a blocked number because you can still receive the incoming message. You just can't send out large blasts. You can still communicate one on one with somebody you've already had prior conversations with, but to send you know a huge blast with this number, you can't really use it. So that's th the technical reason for having a blocked number. Now keep in mind, and this is really important for everybody to know, the system does charge you a dollar per phone number that you have active in Smarter Contact. So keep that in mind. So you want to be optimal, and you know, really to cut your costs because we have a cost on it as well. So we just pass the cost to you. Is not to use more numbers than you, you need, but at the same time to keep the numbers you have. So, so I'm going to show you how to do that and, and be intelligent about it. So here in this screen, you'll see. Let's say you click a number. Let's say you click uh, this number. It'll show you all the details about it, right? When we purchased it, so when you purchased the phone number, the, the date and the time, when this number expires. Um, keep in mind when a number expires, it goes from it goes from active, it goes from active to uh, legacy, and legacy basically means that um, the number can still receive messages, but it won't be used for blasts. It's just it's part of our number algorithm. Uh, and message algorithm, which which you get as part of the system that that uh, really separates us, um, also shows when the number was last used, um, how many total text messages were sent. So if you sent you know a thousand, five hundred, ten thousand, you know it'll tell you how often this number was used. Was this number carrier blocked? This is a really good uh, thing to look at. Was there carrier blocking or no? Um, available in. Um, so this is another. Part of the, the the difference you get with SC is, you know, we we don't overuse numbers. So there's a 24-hour cooldown period on each phone number. So after it's been used, we let it sit there and cool for 24 hours. So this is just kind of giving you a countdown to when this number can be used for a blast. It can be used. Keep in mind, available in still means you can still use it for an outbound message, you know, with an existing client, but you just can't use it for a blast. Um, and active conversations. And this right here is the big one you want to pay attention to. Active conversations, this is going to show you um, how many messages are you know actively, active conversations you have maybe with sellers or leads, right? So if you have a blocked number that has zero active conversations, get rid of it. You don't, you don't want to have that. There's no need. If it has only a few, I mean, it's your call. It's kind of your judgment call if you want to have... Uh, you know, keep the cost on that. Um, that's your call. I, I would recommend not, uh, but that's really up to you. But if you have a black number with many conversations, you're definitely going to want to keep it in case somebody reaches back out to you. Remember that this whole game is all in the follow-up. Most of the contacts, most of the um, uh, investors get their deals, you know, through the follow-up, through many times following up, and then the leads come in. This is where we get most of our client successes. After two, three months, the leads come in. Um, so you really want to track this active conversations number here. Um, and then also keep this in mind. So a lot of you guys are doing virtual wholesaling. You might be in different markets. And um, so the rule is, you know, you want to have 200 texts go out per phone number. And, um, you know, let's say, for example, you have a campaign with a thousand phone numbers. You think, OK, great, I'm going to buy five phone numbers and, you know, it's going to you know use 200 for each of these five phone numbers and then it's going to hit the thousand. What happens though is it does happen with this carrier blocking issue. It, it happens from time to time. So as a precaution, what we recommend is having one or two additional phone numbers. So like I would add a 10 to 15% buffer. So for example, if you needed five phone numbers for your campaign, 
get six with the same area code because what will happen is in case one of those phone numbers gets blocked, now you have an additional phone number just in case. So this is how to get way ahead of this carrier blocking issue is to just buy an extra cushion of phone numbers, like one or two, or just, I would say a 10% rule, 10% more phone numbers than you normally needed for that campaign in the same area code. That way your seller isn't getting a message from some random area code. So keep that in mind, guys, just keep in mind this, this, this cushion rule, you know, whatever you need, add an extra 10%. And remember the rule is 200 texts per phone number. So if you have a campaign with a thousand, uh, leads, uh, 2000 phone numbers, you're going to need 10 phone numbers plus 10%. So you're going to need 12 phone numbers in this example. Uh, if you guys have any more questions on, on the advance and how to, how it works, you guys can reach out to our support team on intercom. We're happy to, to guide you through more uh, on the details of it. Um, now, um, this is basically it. I mean, it's really it. And then just keep in mind that you are charged a dollar per phone number per month. So you really want to be optimal the way you're using it. And uh, the numbers are also going to be sent to legacy after several months of use. After it expires here, it'll be sent to the legacy platform. So I uh, hope that was helpful, guys. Uh, and um, shout out for the next one. Thanks.